two workers miraculously survived a scaffolding collapse in Sydney today by riding the collapsing structure to the ground. They hung on to the scaffolding as it fell five storeys and are now in hospital. But emergency workers say it's incredible that no one was killed. Just after one o'clock, workers at this residential construction site heard a loud crash. I heard a rather loud, large cracking sort of sound and yes, it was... Uh... Yeah, collapsing steel, metal twisting, and yeah, that was from in the basement, so yeah, very, very scary. Shaken workers emerged to discover a five-storey scaffold, which was in the process of being dismantled, had collapsed, taking two workers down with it. This gentleman might have, may have fell upwards of 10 metres, but we believe they, for want of a better, better word, rode the scaffolding down. The two men were taken to hospital, one of them suffering potentially serious injuries. The scaffold fell onto a busy airport approach road, bringing down power lines. Fire services need to make sure that there's no further risk of any fire or explosion. There are several vehicles underneath and in the vicinity of the scaffolding. The construction union alleges there'd been a problem with scaffolding at the site before. One of our officials did come down to this site just prior to Christmas last year and did shut the site down in respect of scaffold issues. The construction company Top Place denied there'd been a stoppage at the site. Emergency workers are carrying out a final sweep of the site to make sure everyone is accounted for. Then it will be the turn of investigators to go in to try to piece together what went wrong. Ursula Malone, ABC News, Mascot.